Elias Malave and the shootoff going to Mr. Furukawa, who wins the match and wins the bronze. Now we move on to our final match. Here are the 2015 Archery World Championships, the men's gold medal match, and this should be a great one as well. Kim Woo Jin versus Rick Vanderven of the Netherlands. Kim Woo Jin out of the King's Gate first and across the Palace Square. Kim Woo Jin, a five set, 6 4 winner over Brady Ellison in the quarterfinals, and then a five set, 6 4 winner over Elias Malave. So he's been put to the test this week by both Brady Ellison and Elias Malave as you get a good close-up look at the 23-year-old who is ranked fourth in the world coming in, first in the World Cup rankings, and in match play this year, 49 and 11. If it comes to a tiebreaker, he's also pretty good when it comes to the tiebreakers too. Four and three is record in seven matches that have gone to the shoot-off. Now, Here's his challenger, the Dutchman from the Netherlands, Rick Vanderven, who gets a big round of applause as he comes out of the King's Gate. How did Rick Vanderven get to this gold medal match, you ask? A five set, seven three win over Marcus Dalmeida from Brazil. Then he shut out Furukawa Takaharu six to nothing in the men's semifinals. So that's an impressive week's work for Rick Vanderven, who's coached by Ron Vanderhoff. And there you see the numbers on the 24-year-old from the Netherlands, ranked third in the world. 72 match wins during his career, a 71% winning percentage for Rick Vanderven. And Rick Vanderven is the first archer since 2007, not from Korea, who has reached the gold medal match at the World Championships. Just reached it. That's not not talking about season. winning it. He's the first archer who's not Korean who's reached this medal match since 2007. That's how dominant Korea has been. Wow, to have both archers both from the archers. same country in a world championship gold medal match for how many years? 2007, did since you say? Since 2007, we'll go over. Four world championships in a row. Yeah. And that there just proves how dominant Korea are. Kim Woo Jin, he just shoots tens. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Vanderven's going to have to shoot a lot of tens today. And this is his, his first time here on this stage as well. Mr. Kim could have the advantage here because he has been out on the field so far in the team event earlier today. Won a men's team gold medal this morning. Back this afternoon looking for more gold. Vanderven finds the gold. Nine or better will take the set. And there's the nine. So the set goes to Kim Woo-jin, who forges ahead after the first set and leads two to nothing. But going back over the last several years, in 2013 in Belek, it was Lee sung Yun facing Oh Jun Hyuk, and Lee Sung Young came away with a gold medal. 2011 in Turin, in Torino, Kim Woo Jin won the gold medal there as he defeated Oh Jun Hyuk. In 2009 in Ulsan, it was Lee Cheng Wan defeating Im Dong Hyun for the gold medal. Now in 2007, Baljinima Torimpilov of Russia was able to get into the gold medal match but was not able to defeat Im Dong Yun. So Im Dong Yun won the gold medal then. Oh, okay. Now, two years before that in Madrid 2005, Chung Jae Hun of Korea won the gold medal. So the last archer who does not hail from Korea to win a gold medal, a men's gold medal at the World Championships, you have to go all the way back to 2003 in New York City, Central Park, Michela Frangili of Italy, who defeated, who defeated Im Dong Hyun of Korea. <laughs> I think that's what uh, they mean when they talk about domination. Definitely, that's just fantastic. And you see World Championships are always two years apart, and there's multiple names back-to-back -back years. So, Oh Jin Hyek, 2013, 2011, Kim Woo Jin, 
2011 and now 2015. It's just amazing that these archers can continue at such a high level, high level. for yeah. so long. And sustain that. And by the way, in 2001 in Beijing, it was Yun Zhongqi of Korea who won the gold medal there. Just thought I'd add that in while we're talking about it. There's a 10 there from Rick. Rick Vanderven of the Netherlands. So they're back-to-back 10s -back for him. So it looks like he's kind of found his mark and he's going to continue to aiming where he is. But great response there from Kim with another X. 10 after 10 after 10. Kim Woo-jin already leading 2-0 as Rick Vanderven from the left side leaves it just a little wide right. Still in the gold, but it's the nine ring. Another X-10 dead center. We've seen that before. Kim Woo Jin won in 2011 in Turin. He's been in this position before. He knows what it takes to win. And that's a nine just out. Vanderven dancing around that 10 ring. A great group, just a fraction off to the right. You don't have to be off by very much. Well, you're up against Whoa. Kim Woo Jin, who comes up with the shot he needed. Didn't have to have a 10, needed a nine. Got the nine. Nine was good enough, and he got it. But I think I've read somewhere that um, when we're at full draw and when we're aiming at the target that's 70 meters away, if you think one degree of movement off center, left or right, you'd miss the target completely. So it's... Don't flinch. Don't flinch whatsoever. You know, a milli fraction of an inch, any movement whatsoever can have a big, dramatic, drastic effect on the arrows, especially downrange in um, adverse conditions. Which makes the uh, the performance of someone like Kim Woo Jin even all the more remarkable that he's able to repeat that same shot over and over and over again. Rick Vanderven, one of the best in the business, and yet he finds himself immediately, almost immediately down for nothing. So almost, quickly. As his semi-final match, he, he dominated over Mr. Furukawa Takaharu. He won six nil straight sets. So just in adverse conditions, much worse than this than we've got at the moment, which is really nice shooting conditions. But uh, on the field of play, um, where we had the matches earlier in the week, the conditions were a lot worse, and Rick handled himself a lot better than almost every other archer. He might be wishing the wind had kicked up this afternoon. He'll need to dig deep here. But he's been in this position before. Maybe not for a world championship, but he knows how to come back. Just needs to win this set. And that's not quite what he needs right now. Maybe he saw his grouping off to the right and compensated too much for that. Kim answers with a nine, so he does take the uh, a one-point lead with one, in the first arrow. There is the shot that Rick Vanderven desperately needed. Could be a big confidence boost for him. We are tied. Rick Vanderven really needs another turn right here. Just like his last shot. Leaves himself vulnerable. A 10. Would wrap this up in short order for Kim Woo Jin. Will he be a multiple? World champion. It's a nine. So we tie and they play on. Kim Woo Jin trying to do what he did in 2011 in Torino, where he defeated Ocean Yuck for the gold medal. Now trying to knock off Rick Vanderven, but couldn't come through with the 10 right there. Not quite, but Rick's now on the board. He's got one point versus five, so he needs to win these next two sets in order to force a shoot off. A tie or a win. 
uh, for Kim Woo Jin from now on, we'll take the set we'll, and we'll take the match, sorry. So I'm sure you've been in a situation like this before, down five to one. You're focusing on what, just the next arrow? Yeah. Not even thinking about, I gotta win this set. You just, next arrow, next I, arrow. I was actually down five to one in the, I think it was the quarterfinals uh, against, or just before the quarterfinals, sorry, against Ma Maro Nespoli of, uh, of Italy, the world, uh, number one ranked in this competition. I was down 5-1, made a few mistakes at the start, but um, reset my shooting, came back, forced to shoot off. Um, he shot a 10, it was a great shot. Mine wasn't quite a 10, so. Um, but you got to do a shoot off. Yeah, I got to do a shoot off. You, fought, you fight back, you never give up. Even if you're down 4-0, you 5-1, know, anything can happen. You never give up on yourself. You're good enough to make it to a world championships. Trust yourself and you can put it in the middle and you can always turn the match around. You never know. You never know. So Rick van der Ven, he was on life support. Now we've upgraded his condition from critical to uh, satisfactory. <laughs> He's not out of the danger zone yet. No. Settling in. Great turn right there. I mean, settling had, down, settling in. A couple of years ago, I had the pleasure of, of versing Rick in a, in a bronze medal final in Shanghai. And he fought all the way, uh, even when I was had a bit of a comeback right at the very end. He hit the, the critical tens he needed to win that match. So hopefully he can do that again here. He'll need to, after oh, Kim Woo Jin came oh, through with another 10. And now Van Der Ven connects. <laughs> On the line. <laughs> Ten, it's a ten, game ten. of ten. Perfect. But Across perfect the board. might not be enough to win this set. He could still potentially lose the match here if Kim Woo Jin shoots his third ten. The ten splits the set, and there it there is. is. They perfect split shooting. the set. Perfect shooting by both archers. 30 points apiece, but it wasn't enough to even win the set. The second world title of Kim Woo Jin's illustrious career and the ninth overall medal of the weekend here at the World Championships for the incredible country of Korea. What a display. Absolutely amazing. What a great final set. And the final score will be deceiving as Rick van der Ven, once he finally got comfortable and settled in, really shot well, particularly in that last set. You can't do any better. No, that was a great comeback there. He did what he needed to do. He shot perfect. And sometimes, very rarely, even in our sport, perfect isn't good.